Now the third center that we have, actually this is the second center because the third center arises, this Swadhisthana arises out of the Navi. It's a very, very important center. It's the center of your seeking as he has told you. Your complete priorities change. Complete priorities change. Because the joy that you get out of Sahaja the joy you get out of this meditation, out of the feeling that flows in you all the time, like a beautiful torrential rain of joy that fills you, your life and everybody's life, you don't care for cheap type of entertainment. You feel you should, you seek other surgery. You want to meet another surgery. You don't want to meet anybody else. If there's an actor coming or some big man is coming, all right, let him come. I am going to see such and such person. It is such a different personality that one day I'll tell you how it happens. There was a girl, a diplomat, she's a diplomat who is a realized soul, and she happened to go to Sicily. And she was eating her food, suddenly she felt there's some vibrations coming around. She looked around, the other one was also looking at her. She said, are you Mataji's disciple? She said, yes, I am Mataji's child. They both got up and just hugged and said, such joy, Mother, in that far-fetched place of Sicily to find a surgery. And then they kept together and they wouldn't go anywhere else, but they said, now this is the enjoyment. Just the company of a Sahajogi is such an enjoyment. I have seen these people when they go to India, the people are not so rich, poor people, they have little, little hearts. But when they go there, you should see the love, the report. And that makes me so happy, so happy the way they love each other, the way they understand each other, each other the way they help each other. And the, only the company, for the first time you start enjoying. We were in, once in a hotel, staying in Calcutta, and there were two Sahaja Yogis with me, they were in the other room, quite far away, they couldn't get a room close to me. And one gentleman came for his realization, he came to my feet. When he got realization, it was a tremendous happening. And they came rushing from there. I said, what happened? They said, we felt the vibrations. We felt the vibrations from their mother, so we have come to receive the vibrations. And they came and they felt the vibrations. So this man was so great that his vibrations attracted them and they came down. And then they, ah, wow. They were just enjoying that as if they were enjoying a big flower with lots of fragrance. What vibrations, what vibrations? The fellow got up, he said, very nice, they are enjoying my vibrations, now I'm going to enjoy your vibrations. For the first time you start enjoying your fellow men because Everyone is a beautiful personality, a glorious, fragrant, joyful personality. But because you cannot feel the other person and because the other person does not emit, you are all the time quarreling, even husband-wife quarreling, father-mother quarreling, this one quarreling, that quarreling. In Sahaja Yoga, there's hardly any time for people to quarrel. The other day I had a lady who came to see me and she was trying to put her point and there were about five, six Sahaja Yogis and everybody was putting the same point. And she was amazed. She said, I've never seen such concord, such friendship, such understanding, all of them supporting each other, nobody is cutting anyone. Such a society has to develop. It's such a nourishing, soothing, invigorating society. And you forget about getting bored, boredom goes out of life, you never get bored. You enjoy yourself or you enjoy the company of Sahaja Yogis and it's a very different level that you come out. That is what, that land you have to reach within yourself. Now the greatest thing that happens as a result of this center seeking, that you start seeking other seekers. You try to find out where is the seeker, if you hear somebody he's a seeker, you go and see him. If you hear about someone that some people are lost there, they were seekers but they went there lost, you all rush there. It's like a person who is like a, a, what you call a guard. On the seashore, you know, there are 
guards kept for salvaging people. And that's how you become. You suddenly find somebody sinking, you just go. In uh, Bombay there was a case, they announced that there's a lady who is going to die, if somebody can come and help her, it will be a great thing. They all rushed there, we saved her. Now the interest changes completely and you start really helping people and not feeling that you have helped anyone, not at all. But the surrounding portion of that, which is the void, is the best which is affected by your awakening that you become the virtue itself. <coughs> Nobody has to tell you that you be virtuous. <coughs> when you are awakened, you become a virtuous personality. You enjoy your virtues. You enjoy being good. You enjoy being nice. You really enjoy it. And that enjoyment comes to you as a blessing because the virtue itself is so strengthening, so powerful that anyone who is harmed or troubled or uh, tortured or put down, you stand up. You are not afraid of anyone. You are not afraid of any one of them. Now about these people who have been troubling you as fake gurus, I told about them in 1970. I am just a lady. And single-handed I told them who these people are, how they are going to loot you and what they are going to do. But in this country nobody can think of one genuine person who could be really genuine. It was the problem that time. But with this awakening within you of the virtuous nature, you just know what is virtue and what is not virtue, I don't have to tell. I don't say, don't do this and don't do that, I never say that. It just happens because when the virtue starts developing, the vibrations improve and you feel extremely joyous. We have lost our virtues because there is no joy out of it, no reward. If somebody is honest, he has to suffer. If somebody is good, he has to suffer. If somebody is kind, he thinks he has to suffer. But after getting realization, you are rewarded for your virtues. Mm -hmm.